Uh, the bullying will never stop. There's always somebody who notices it. People, they're just mean. The world's mean. So, just gotta toughen up and get through it. I'm Melissa, the teen who constantly smells like fish. The name of my medical condition is trimethylamineria. It makes me smell like fish. My mom knew when I was little that something was wrong, but they never found a name for it until I was about six because it's so rare. She was always sweating really bad. I couldn't put clothes on her overnight because she would just sweat through them. Her doctor looked into it and called me one day and was like, hey, I think we might have something here. And he sent her to do some testing and it came back that she had the trimethylaminuria. So trimethylaminuria prevents certain proteins from being broken down in your digestive system. And when your body can't break them down, they sit basically sit in your gut and rot, causing an odor. I started kindergarten and started uh, being bullied for it. She was made fun of a lot, teased by a lot of the kids. Let's be honest, kids are pretty brutal. Calling her fish girl and all sorts of really mean names. It, there's always somebody, even in high school, there's always somebody who notices it. Uh, but they never really say it to my face. Uh, the bullying will never stop because people, they point out every little flaw about you. You know, people, they're just mean. The world's mean. So, just gotta toughen up and get through it. There's no treatment really. I just can't eat certain foods. And um, I have to like take really good con care of like my body. Like wear perfume, deodorant all the time. Take showers every night. The smell comes out all the time, especially like when I'm sweating, so. All we can do is making sure she's not eating a lot of green leafy vegetables. Um, we have completely cut fish out of our diet. There's no milk, it's all almond milk. She can have tree nuts, just not like peanuts. Could split it with me, that'd be cool. You just don't get cheese. What? <laughs> cheese is the best part. It's really hard to find things I can eat, especially when going to like a restaurant. Usually we end up at like a seafood restaurant, which sucks. <laughs> um, but usually I eat like chicken tenders. That's about it. <laughs> So what are you going to do later? Um, I think Jordan's going to come over and we're going to play softball. It took a very long time to find my confidence. Hey Amy, do you want to come play softball with me? I suppose. Okay, hold my really started when I started playing softball. I was on a team. They didn't really care about the smell or anything. They wanted to help me be a, the better softball player. And that was definitely the turning point. That's where I really fell in love with the sport and really like started to buckle down and wanted to play and knew that that's what I wanted to do. I work my butt off on the softball field. I work my butt off in my pitching and I do my very best in school that I can. That got my palm, my whole palm. She's got a lot of talent and she's really starting to love the game and getting good at it. She's got a lot of drive. She wants to be better than everybody else, but she also wants to be better than her own self. I think it offers her a release to get her anger and her aggression out when she's frustrated. I don't think I could deal with the bullying and the, all the craziness that she does every day and still be able to hold my head up. Um, situations like going to softball tryouts or you know being on a team job interviews those situations really make me nervous because you know you never know how people are going to react to it but you know i i know just to get through it hey jordan you ready to go play softball yep i'm ready to go play softball I like about the best about Alyssa is that she can be mean but nice at the same time. <laughs> I think of her as a confident person. 
<laughs> Nobody heard that right. <laughs> My advice for kids that are being bullied for anything would just be let it, let it go. So just toughen up and get through it. I have to live with it. It's never gonna go away. I just know that I have to surround myself with people who don't notice it. My hope for myself for the future is to, you know, go to college. I want to play for Alabama. I want to, you know, get a really good job and I want to, you know, advocate for myself for the rest of my life.